other side. All right. My name is Dana Stickney. I work for Crenshaw Lumber Company. I'm in operations a little bit. I do sales and primarily uh, project manager. Jeff Bender, Crenshaw Lumber Company, uh, production manager. We're going to take you a little tour of the yard, give you a brief overview of what we got going here, and uh, end up hopefully uh, demonstrating the newest piece of equipment we've attained, uh, the OptiCut uh, XL, which is a tremendous piece of equipment. Ready? Let's go. Well, it's a special year, you know, we really haven't stopped in roughly about three and a half, four years, did not stop. We're roughly at, as a company, 2.6, 2.7 million feet a week. Just out of this Gardena facility, we're pushing 1.6, 1.7 out of here a week. You know, good times right now. So, our primary customer target here is the National Home Builder Framing Contractor. And so we try to provide all the services that they might require from us. Uh, we remount a lot of lumber for them uh, for their exposed applications on a house. A lot of that's what you see right here with this, with this piece of equipment. We'll take smooth lumber that comes from the mill and remand it to be a rough, exposed product. This saw is doing taper rips that are used on flat roofs to limit the pitch. So these pieces, Cut on an angle. So on our way to our destination, you'll notice the various cutoff saws around the yard. The cutoff saw slash beam saw we used to cut all the way up to our 8x12s all our glue lamps on this saw. You notice that it's fairly idle now with your Interjection of the whining. Another cutoff saw. Jeff, what's the age of this saw? I'm sorry? How old is this saw? Before my time. 40 years? 40? This is our big band saw. So it does the same thing. We run big timbers through here to resize them and or to just rough up the surface so for an appearance application. So it's a big band saw. Then on the we back should walk saw, over to our unit saw real quick. That's the unit saw we were discussing earlier. This is our unit saw. We put four units in and cut them to length. This is a, it's a big chainsaw. So like I said, as you can see with the addition of the OptiCut, these cutoff so, saws aren't getting much of a workout anymore. So in order to create more efficiency in the field, we cut and package many of the elements that they use to build a house. So anything that's not your standard product, 
we cut that here, package it, and send it out to them um, pro lot so that there's no confusion. They grab a, a, a unit here that was designated for lot 57. They take it right to lot 57. These are their longer studs that they might use. So. The goal is to optimize their labor on the, on the job, uh, creating efficiencies for them. And if we're really good at it, it uh, enhances our customer base because we are so good at it. As I was saying earlier, this yard has been here for about 75 years. Uh, it was primarily a dirt lot. Uh, only about 20% of it, not even 20% of it, was paved. Over the last four or five years, we basically uh, laid eight inches of concrete over 12 acres. Used to, right now, we'd be standing in um, Lake Crenshaw. In a mud hole, in a mud hole. So <laughs> that is uh, that is really enhanced our efficiency, uh, the longevity of our equipment, forklifts in particular. Uh, they're not out four wheeling all day. We're approaching the uh, warehouse that uh, holds the OptiCut, houses the OptiCut. On the way in, you'll notice these packages to a labeled. Uh, once again, these are packages uh, of header stock and cripple stock and sill stock that goes per unit uh, out to our customer. So we'll cut everything from the big timbers down to the smallest six inch piece on this saw. <laughs> oh yeah, they're blowing it going. <laughs> so process wise, we'll load several jobs into the computer. Uh, and by jobs we mean for instance a, a, a particular house. House A, House B, House C. They'll come off of the five kicker stations in the proper sequence. people in this process, now we're down to four, and we're considerably more efficient, uh, we're more accurate. The pieces that we cut were, in the past, measured with the measuring tape and marked and cut. This thing is laser guided, it cuts every piece of the exact measurement. Things are packaged nowadays with the addition of the. The offloader is just taking a lot of guesswork out. We no longer have to mark everything by hand with a marker. Let our guys know there's going to be six pieces in this package. It takes a lot of guesswork out of it, helps them out on production. Now we have pieces coming off the saw that are going to their various stations and kick out.
package on the other saw that we walked past earlier. Everything was cut one at a time that Mark would have marked. So that process is completely eliminated. The stuff is taken away. Putting your stops or saw stops where it physically had to be to cut each piece. That's all gone away. The saws take care of everything for us. assembling these packages with one third of the people, the accuracy of the packages, they come out perfect. So all the cuts are perfect, the pieces, the number of pieces is right. We've got a lot of the input from our customers in the field has been tremendous. They're very happy with what they see. So what you've seen right now with these guys, gentlemen, they're cutting right now, this traditionally, all five of those saws that we walked past earlier would be doing this one single job. You know, roughly, but we're looking at, you know, 10 to 12 guys, possibly into the second shift working on this job. Four guys will knock this out to be done before they go on the fire. Christian, let me, uh... We'll jump up and look at the brains of the uh, of the product. Ready? Get Ricky to come up. Get Ricky to come up. Or James. Watch your step. Watch your step here, Christian. Walk with them. So basically, we load units into the end of the chain. Those units will automatically come up to the offloader. The offloader will take a full lineup, the full top layer, a full layer of whatever we put in there and bring it up to the feeder chain to the saw. Once it gets up to the saw, the sensors will sense the thickness of the material that one's fine. and adjust the pressure of the wheels to feed those pieces. They come out to the conveyor, on the way down to the saw, on their way, the sensors will look and see if there's any particular defect, and then into the saw it goes. James, this is Christian. Can you give us some, some overview of how this works? So you you've got a you've got a job like this that we produce in the office that has all the cut the lengths of whatever product we're cutting two by four two by six four by this is all entered into the computer here. James, do you uh, reference this piece while you're cutting here? So so he'll pull pull this will pull up onto the screen. James will review it. Make sure he's got the right product in the saw, and then off he goes. Pushes go, and it goes. Yeah, Ricky, give us. And so what did we just do? It's imported this list, USA list. So you just imported this list into the machine. 
that easy. All right, great. So one, once the material is loading, he finds the order, number, makes sure they're down the list, and then he sets up the kickers. It's either an alternate or double kick, depending on the leg. And he just, uh, so he sets up the kickers manually yes. to accommodate whatever it is that he's shoving out. I see, okay. Run it. And run it, okay. Thank you, James. Wish we had a piece. Can can we run a piece through here by manually? Can you run a piece through here manually so we can watch it cut? Okay. All the actions right here. Every piece will be in cut first to make a clean cut. It, there's a laser inside here that measures, and the back end will be cut. And those are those are pieces that are, don't go to a unit. Oh yeah. So here comes a piece. It'll end cut it, measure it, and cut it again. The blade's so fast you can't even see it. Yeah, That's how it's out the yeah right. That's a wrap, gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Welcome to Crenshaw Lumber. Hope you enjoyed your tour. We enjoyed your visit.